Hey guys, what's up? It's Doombreaker again and I'm here with another tutorial for you guys. So today we are going to learn all about timers. So we are going to start off by dragging in a timer from the toolbox. As you can see the timer is not visible in your form but it is located in a little toolbar under your form. We are going to start off by going to properties and locate the interval property. The interval property is basically how much time the timer needs between each tick. The interval is written in milliseconds, so this means that a thousand milliseconds is equal to one second. Alright, so let's write a simple program that can count. So first of all we need to start our timer. So go to the start button that you have already created, double click it and then type timer1.start with two brackets. Do the same thing with the stop button, but instead of typing timer1.start, type timer1.stop. Now you're going to see me do some stuff in an order that doesn't make any sense. So here's the correct order. Start by declaring a variable called seconds as an integer and assign it the value 0. Then double click your timer and then in that particular sub that you have just created, type seconds is equal to seconds plus one and then of course so the user can have some feedback type label one dot text is equal to seconds to string And you're done. So basically if you debug now, press start, it will start counting. If you press stop, it will stop counting. You can mess around with the interval of your timer to make it count faster or slower, depending on what you want. So thank you guys for watching, if you like this video please click the like button below. If you like my stuff and you want to see more of these tutorials, consider subscribing. And that's it, bye.